Hello everyone. Hi to all of you over there. Yes, let's come together because we need to learn something very special today. What is it? Yes, we will be learning about the water cycle today. Of course, but before that, before we start our learning, let me tell you where you can learn more such interesting things. So you can come in the Oda class. How you can come in there? You can download the Oda class app from the Play Store. And what is waiting for you in the Oda class? There is a bridge course waiting for you, which will be starting this Monday. What is there in that bridge course? Let me quickly tell you. So this bridge course, which will be starting on Monday, it will be there for one complete week. And what will you get in that? So you will be having three classes for mathematics and three science class for you as well. Along with that, you will be getting a personal teacher for you. So in case you feel that you have some doubts related to science or mathematics or anything else, you can ask all your doubts to your personal teacher. Along with that, you will be getting the homeworks in the ODA app. You will be able to take tests and decide that, yes, I'm able to learn something, right? So you can take the test also. And along with that, you will be getting the PDF form of the study material also. All right. So here you can enroll yourself in the bridge course. How you can do that? So you can check the description box. You will have the link over there. Just visit the link and you can enroll yourself immediately for the bridge course, which is starting from Monday. Along with that, yes, this is about me. So my dear kids, my name is Zufa Shayan. And yes, I'm the master teacher for science, having more than four years of teaching experience. And in all those years, I got the opportunity to mentor more than 20,000 students till now. But my question, my question to all of you is, how do plants get water? Because we were talking about the water cycle, right? So first thing is that how do plants get water? Yes, you can tell me your answers right now. Well, yes, you are right. The plants are getting the water from the rains for sure. And yes, sometimes the plants also get water because we are watering them, right? So it can happen by two methods. The plants are getting the water directly from the rains or we are watering the plants. But my question is something else. Okay, let's understand this. Plants, they are getting the water from both these sources, watering and by rain. But the thing is, if it's raining, then how does the rain form? Right? So from where these water drops are coming, we need to understand that. Okay? So to understand that, yes, I'll have few discussions with you. The whole step will start with this process. What's this process? What is happening over here? So you can see that there's an ocean, right? Or we can simply say a water body is here. So the water which is present in ocean seas or all the water bodies, when sun rays, you can see the sun over here, right? When sun rays falls on the water body, the water which is present in them, it gets heated up, right? So when water will get heated up, it changes its form. And when it changes its form, so now it is in which state? Now it is in the liquid state. After getting heated up from liquid, it will change to the gaseous form. That means it will change from being the liquid form of water to the water vapor form. So this process is evaporation. Water which is present in the liquid form because of heating will change in the gaseous form that is water vapor. This is the beginning of the whole cycle. Okay. So after this, yes, of course, some amount of water is also added. Some amount of water is also added in the air or you can say, you know, in the atmosphere because of transpiration. So transpiration is 
when water is released from the surface of the leaves okay so some amount of water vapor is also released by the leaves okay here what will happen when water vapor is there it's there up in the sky right what will happen after some time it will start cooling down right after some time it will start cooling down so what happens then the water which was there in the gaseous form that will again change into the liquid form now this process is condensation condensation is when water vapor cools down this process also initiates the formation of clouds so now water which was there in the water body goes up now this water has initiated formation of clouds so what will happen next yes the next step is obviously something which we are going to discuss but after this question liquid to gas liquid to gas will be which of the following you can say it's evaporation or condensation whatever is your answer you can let me know when there is a change happening from liquid to gas okay yes that's right so the correct answer will be evaporation well done very good so now coming to the final step over here this is precipitation so what happens in precipitation obviously when the clouds become heavy they can't hold water anymore in them so all the water which is there in the clouds they need to fall down back on earth right so when they have to fall down back on earth they can fall down in any of these forms they can form directly in the form of rain which we usually experience it can be in the form of hail snow or sleet in any of these forms all of them are the forms of water only and the idea is that the water should reach back on the surface of the earth now evaporation condensation and precipitation is done so what will happen we need to collect all the water right so the fourth step is collection here is the complete water cycle which you can see over here the process starts with evaporation when water in the water body it's get heated up because of sunlight and it goes up in the form of water vapor here the second part the second process starts which is condensation here at this stage initiation will take place and formation of cloud will begin right once the clouds are heavy they can't hold any more water so the third step precipitation will happen okay finally the fourth step that is collection so water is collected into different water bodies into rivers lakes and all the different things that we have right so this completes the water cycle around us starting from evaporation then condensation precipitation and collection so four major steps are there in the water cycle and why are we calling it a cycle because this process happens over and over again right because this process is happening in a loop that is why we are calling it water cycle all right so with that obviously we come to one conclusion that the rain which is happening the amount of the rain decides two extremes it can be flood or drought now what is this the amount of rain if it's adequate it's fine but if it's too much it causes flood and if it's too less that causes drought okay so here we have the situation for flood when there is like too much water the complete area gets submerged in water and this is something which is not very fruitful for the people living over there for the life in general right so flood and the second situation which is completely opposite again an extreme situation that is drought here obviously the people who are living in this area they have to struggle every day and even the crops are damaged in both the situations so here rain is very important but the correct amount of rain also plays a very important role in our lives So if you want to learn more such interesting things you know where to come isn't it so you can come in the oda class how you can come in here you can download the app from the play store and because you can always always enroll yourself in the bridge course right now 
which is a one week course which will give you three classes of mathematics and three science classes too with the support of a personal teacher this personal teacher will make sure that you are not having any queries right you are not hesitant to ask questions along with that you can check your own progress so you can check the progress by solving the homework questions in the app itself you can take the test and you can quickly understand how better you have become right along with that you will be getting the pdf form of the books as well now here this is how you can get a seat for yourself in the bridge course the link is there in the description click on the link and book a seat for yourself immediately because this is a starting from monday right But there's one more thing let me tell you about it it's not only that you are coming and you are learning something but you are also be, uh, being rewarded for that same thing you can see that there is oda mall there is oda mall and in this oda mall you have got different types of gifts waiting for you so once you come in the oda classes you start attending the classes in exchange like as a reward for you you will be getting oda coins so you can exchange your oda coins and you can get any reward for yourself from the oda mall as well so for that you can enroll yourself immediately right now and yes please don't forget to like and subscribe to oda class thank you so much 